In April 2025, security researchers discovered a flaw in a major antivirus tool, one that allowed attackers to bypass its defenses due to delayed updates. That was a wake-up call. It made me realize that even well-known antivirus brands can fall behind or cut corners when it comes to real protection. With that, I decided to put six popular antivirus products to the test. Bitdefender, Norton, McAfee, Malwarebytes, TotalAV, and Windows Defender. I tested them solely on the following categories. Protection, system impact, ease of use, and pricing. Based on the results, the best performers would earn a spot at the table, while the low performers would be excluded. And trust me, some of these results will surprise you because the antivirus I thought would dominate barely scraped by. Stick around until the very end, and I'll reveal the final tier list ranking, showing exactly which ones deserve your trust and which you should uninstall today. You can also save more from these products using the special links provided in the description. All right, let's dive in. Let's start with what matters most in an AV program, protection. There are two types of protection used by antivirus programs to keep your device secure. One of them is real-time protection, which guards your system every second against malware, phishing attempts, ransomware, and other threats before they can cause damage. The other is manual scanning, which identifies and removes malicious files on your system through scanning techniques, such as quick scans or full scans. To test the real-time protection, I exposed each antivirus to a malware file by iCar to see which ones stopped every threat instantly and which left the door wide open. The results were surprising, but Bitdefender emerged as the top performer. It blocked the threat instantly and quarantined the malware without hesitation. It also provided a walkthrough of the threat neutralization process and a summary of the threat information in the notification tab. Bitdefender offers the best experience in threat protection compared to its competitors. Malwarebytes also performed well by blocking further access to the website, but failed to stop the downloaded malware file from completing, which I find a significant flaw. Norton matched up with Bitdefender in terms of detection speed, as it instantly restricts access to the website. Windows Defender, on the other hand, was relatively slow in detecting and responding to the threat, as it allowed slight access to the website and the download of the malware file before ultimately stopping it. This wasn't too surprising to me, as I had kind of expected the outcome to be this way. McAfee also showed slow detection of the threat, similar to Windows Defender, but was more effective in addressing it, as it quarantined the downloaded malware. Total AV was the weakest performer in this category, as it only blocked further access to the website but allowed the download of the malware file without addressing the issue. Hmm, so much for its total protection. However, the results got more interesting when I tested each AV's malware detection via manual scanning. For a thorough and authentic result, I used the full scan option for this test. Starting with Windows Defender, it successfully detected the threats and clearly labeled the danger each one posed to my device. It also gave clear options to neutralize the threats, which is impressive for a free tool, but it's not without its flaws. Malwarebytes, on the other hand, detected the threats with the option to quarantine them. However, the detection speed was slow, as the threats were detected at the very end of the scanning process, which wasn't a very good experience, in my opinion. I was expecting Total AV to react similarly to Malwarebytes, but surprisingly, it performed better by detecting the threat halfway through the scanning process and blocking it. Like most AVs, it quarantined the threat, which I was able to remove by manually deleting it. Additionally, it performed better than Bitdefender in terms of detection speed, as Bitdefender only detected the threat at the end of the scanning process. However, the only edge the latter has over the others is the instant execution of removing the threat without the need for manual actions. However, Norton gave me the most surprising result, as it didn't even detect the malware planted on my device. It completed the full scan with nothing to resolve. That was a first for me with Norton, and to be fair, it was not a great experience. Was it a technical flaw? Norton might need to update its virus definitions intelligence. If you currently use Norton, have you encountered this situation with its full scan before? If yes, kindly share your experience in the comments. So, which antivirus programs are the top performers in terms of protection? Here's the verdict. Bitdefender led with fast threat blocking, smooth removal, and clear alerts. Norton matched its real-time speed but missed malware and manual scans. Malwarebytes and Total AV had mixed results. Malwarebytes excelled in real time but lagged in manual scans, while Total AV was weak in real time but surprisingly strong in manual detection. Windows Defender and McAfee trailed in real time protection but performed well in manual scans. Based on my hands on experience and the level of effectiveness in this category among these AVs, Bitdefender takes the top spot. 
with Norton and Malwarebytes standing out as runner-ups due to their impressive real-time protection. However, despite the outcome of the protection test results for these AV programs, I also discovered that some of these AVs consume more CPU during routine tasks, such as system scans and background tasks like real-time protection, which can cause potential lag on some low-end PCs. This brings us to the next category, System Impact. Starting with Bitdefender, I didn't notice any slowdowns on my PC during system scans and background protection, though around 15% of CPU and 35 megabytes of RAM were consumed. However, Bitdefender may consume significantly more resources on lower-end PCs, but it provides a feature that addresses lags or slowdowns if they occur. Norton also has a similar feature, which I'll discuss in the next category. Speaking of Norton, it used only 2% of CPU and a whopping 131 megabytes of RAM. Total AV utilized approximately 11% of the CPU and 69 megabytes of RAM. Malwarebytes, on the other hand, used 3% of the CPU and 159 megabytes of RAM. McAfee consumed the least amount of CPU at 0.3% and 33 megabytes of RAM. Finally, Windows Defender used approximately 0.7% of the CPU and consumed the least amount of RAM at 28 megabytes. This is a result of its lightweight build compared to its competitors, which are mostly built as antivirus suites. So, which among these AVs is more friendly with your system's CPU and RAM? Kindly share your experience in the comments. All right, here's the verdict. McAfee and Windows Defender were the most system friendly. McAfee used the least CPU and 33 megabytes of RAM, while Defender had the lowest RAM use with 28 megabytes and just 0.7% CPU usage. Bitdefender offered a strong balance of performance and protection, ideal for mid- to high-end systems. Norton, TotalAV, and Malwarebytes were more resource-intensive, with Malwarebytes using the most RAM with 159 megabytes, making it less suitable for low-memory devices. Therefore, with these results, McAfee emerges as the top performer, with Windows Defender and Bitdefender settling as runner-ups due to their lower RAM consumption. What are your thoughts on McAfee being the top performer in terms of system impact? If McAfee is your current AV program, how does it impact your system? I'd love to hear your experience in the comments below. Here's a quick fun fact. Did you know McAfee was founded by the guy who literally named it after himself and later became one of the most bizarre tech personalities ever? Yeah, John McAfee lived a wild life, but let's not let that overshadow the software itself. An antivirus program might be powerful, but if it's not easy to use or understand, it's pretty much useless for the average person. That's why I didn't just test how well each one protected my system. I also evaluated how beginner-friendly the interface was, how long it takes to run full scans, what integrated tools or add-ons they offer, and how long the installation process takes. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more insightful content like this. All right, let's jump into how each antivirus performs in terms of ease of use. For a more coherent breakdown, I will evaluate my experience with the selected aspect of each AV using a tabular ranking, as shown on the screen. The table will be filled up as we go along. Starting with my top-rated Bitdefender, which features the most intuitive layout, complete with clear tabs for protection, privacy, and utilities, as well as guided navigation around the interface for beginners. Running full scans can be very lengthy, and with Bitdefender, it only took about 54 minutes and 48 seconds to complete the process, making it one of the fastest AV scanners available. Bitdefender comes with a handful of built-in essential tools compared to its competitors. It provides a safe pay browser for your online transactions, a password manager, a file shredder that removes all sensitive data from your device, a vulnerability scanner that checks for breaches on your system, and a one-click optimizer that speeds up your system, reducing lag and removing clutter. However, its installation process took the longest compared to its competitors due to its heavy file size and lengthy setup, which lasted around 9 minutes, longer than any of the others in this lineup. Still, once you're in, the interface makes up for the wait with its intuitive setup and design. Malwarebytes, on the other hand, is all about simplicity. The UI is bare-bones with no flashy icons, but it gets the job done. It's clean, fast, and doesn't overwhelm you with too many options. In fact, it clocked the fastest scan time in this comparison, just over 6 minutes. That's insanely quick. You also get a few practical tools like rootkit scanning, a built-in VPN, and a browser guard to block shady sites. Installation was also extremely fast, taking about 5 minutes to complete. For anyone seeking speed in a no-frills setup, Malwarebytes delivers a reliable solution. McAfee comes next, and I'd say it strikes a good balance between style and function. 
The interface is sleek and user-friendly, although it doesn't offer navigation icons, which might feel limiting if you're looking for quick access to features. The full scan took over an hour, which was longer than those of Bitdefender and Malwarebytes. However, the installation was the fastest of all, taking just four minutes. McAfee's Edge lies in its security tools, including a robust firewall that integrates seamlessly with Windows Defender and effective identity theft protection. Then there's Norton, which is probably the most feature-rich antivirus available. However, that comes at a price. As the interface, while modern, can feel cluttered due to the sheer number of features crammed in. Full scans took the longest here, over two hours, which felt like a real commitment. You do get a nice toolkit, though. Cloud backup, a VPN, a password manager, and a disk optimizer. The setup time wasn't bad either, as it took about five minutes to complete. Lastly, Windows Defender, which comes built into Windows. No installation is required, which is a significant advantage in terms of convenience. The interface is as simple as it gets, and while it doesn't offer deep customizations, it's solid for basic protection. Scan time hovered around 1 hour and 50 minutes. Tools are also basic, including a firewall, parental controls, and ransomware protection. It's a quiet performer, nothing fancy, but it's always there. It is also worth mentioning that most of the AVs mentioned are available for both mobile and desktop platforms, except for Windows Defender, which is currently known as Windows Security and is only available for Windows operating systems. That said, each antivirus has its trade-offs. Some are fast, others are packed with features, while a few just keep things simple. It all depends on what you value most in day-to-day -day use. So, which of these antivirus programs deserves a spot as a top performer in this category? Bitdefender takes the lead with a clean, intuitive interface and smart feature placement, making it great for beginners. It also includes a solid set of tools, though the installation takes time. The runner-ups include Malwarebytes for keeping things minimal and super fast without the extras, and Windows Defender being a built-in option on your Windows PC provides basic but reliable protection. Now we are down to the final category, pricing. Every AV program mentioned comes with its respective selling points, but which one provides the most balance between cost-effectiveness and affordability? Let's find out. To determine the best performer, I will compare each AV's best individual plan, starting with my top-rated Bitdefender. Its ultimate security plan priced at $89.99 per year provides a comprehensive bundle, top-tier malware protection, a secure VPN, identity theft monitoring, a password manager, and performance tools to keep your system running smoothly. McAfee Plus Advanced Individual's price, $89.99 per year, matches Bitdefender's, but it focuses more on identity protection. You receive comprehensive credit monitoring, lost wallet support, and unlimited VPN access, which is ideal if safeguarding personal data is your top priority. Then there's Norton 360 with LifeLock Select Plus, which costs $99.99 for the first year. While it's slightly pricier, it justifies the cost with LifeLock Identity Theft Protection, 250 gigabytes of cloud storage, credit monitoring, and a solid VPN. If you want robust identity security, Norton is a strong pick. Malwarebytes. Total starts at $94.99 per year, making it one of the most expensive options. It offers strong malware and ransomware protection, real-time scanning, and web protection. It skips the extras like password managers or cloud backup, but if you're after pure security without the bulk, it's great value. Total AV Premium, priced at $29 for the first year, is the most affordable option. It covers basic real-time protection, anti-phishing tools, and system optimization features. It's light on advanced extras, but for budget-conscious users, it covers the essentials. Windows Defender, of course, is completely free and built into Windows. It doesn't require a subscription, and while it lacks premium features, it provides decent baseline protection, which is ideal for users who just want a straightforward, always-on solution. So, which are the top performers in terms of striking the balance between cost-effectiveness and affordability? Here's the verdict. Malwarebytes is the best balance of cost and value, offering solid real-time protection and web security without unnecessary extras. It's clean, reliable, and fairly priced. For budget buyers, Total AV is a strong second choice. It covers the basics, including malware and phishing protection, as well as lightweight performance tools at an affordable price. Bitdefender brings more features, but at nearly triple the cost. If you want a full-featured antivirus suite with top-tier protection, privacy tools, and system optimization, it's a great deal compared to others. Additionally, you can save up to 60% off all Bitdefender's plans with a special link I have included in the description. That said, the trio earns its spot for being the top performer 
in striking a balance between cost-effectiveness and affordability. So, what are your thoughts on Malwarebytes being the top performer in this category? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, after spending weeks testing these antivirus programs across four key categories, protection, system impact, ease of use, and pricing, it's time to unveil the final tier list. Starting with Bitdefender, which holds the top-of-the-line tier for crushing protection tests with instant threat detection and seamless removal. Despite a slightly slower manual scan, its balance between low system usage and top-tier real-time defense puts it at the top. A clean interface, powerful features, and fair pricing make it a comprehensive winner. The AVs in the solid choice tier caught me off guard. McAfee in particular scanned almost silently, used the least CPU and barely touched RAM. Its protection is decent and the interface is easy for beginners. While it's not the best in every category, it's a reliable pick if you value performance over extra features. Windows Defender, on the other hand, punches way above its weight. Good manual scan results, system-friendly and hassle-free. It's not the most advanced, but for everyday users, it's a good option. Overall, it's more than solid for a basic protection tool. As for the third tier, Malwarebytes and Total AV were deserving of this position for obvious reasons. Malwarebytes had excellent real-time protection and a remarkably clean interface, but its slow manual scanning and high RAM usage drag it down a notch. Malwarebytes feels like it's almost there, but it's not quite there yet. Total AV, on the other hand, initially struggled with real-time detection, but delivered a surprise with decent manual scanning performance. It's beginner-friendly, but pricing and protection are inconsistent, making it difficult to recommend without hesitation. As for Norton, it's a tough thing to say, but Norton fumbled hard. While it nailed real-time protection, the manual scan completely missed malware on my test, which is unacceptable for a paid tool. Add in its high RAM usage and bloated features you might never use, and it's just not worth your money right now. And sadly, it earns the deserving tier below. So, if you're wondering what to keep and what to uninstall, here are my recommendations. If you want the best all-around protection at a cost-effective price, Bitdefender is the top option. If you're on a budget or need something lightweight, I suggest sticking with Windows Defender or McAfee. However, you should avoid Norton until they fix their detection issues. Kindly share in the comments which antivirus software you are currently using, and let me know if any of these results surprised you. If you'd like to see the best cloud storage options that are worth your data and money, or if you're looking for the best email provider right now, check out these videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.